Next, I want to take a look at converting backwards. How do I get from our number system into any other number system? And again, the rules would follow if it's base 5, base 7, base 3. All the same rules apply. The only thing that changes is what is what number are you using to find place values and what digits can you use. So what I'm going to take is the number 437. Notice I said 437. 100 means that it's in base 10. And it is in base 10, so I can say it that way. What I want to do is convert it into base 5. Well, you have to remember that in base 5, the place values are different. So I can't use 10s, 100s, but I'm allowed the 1s, I'm allowed 5s, I'm allowed 25s, and I'm allowed 125s. So what I have to figure out is, I need to figure out is how many of each place value will it take to make up 437. And the final thing is, none of the numbers I put here is allowed to be 5 or higher. Remember, those are illegal digits. The reason I stopped at 125 is the next place value is 625. And will it take any 625s to make 437? The answer is no. It will not. This is too big. So I try to list all my base 5 place values, as many as I can, without going over the number. So what we're going to do is split this number up. I need division. I'm going to take the place value on the outside, because I want to know how many 125s fit into 437. Should be 3, which is 375. 2 and 6. So this 3 is how many 125s I need. So I go back down to my 125 column and I put a 3 here. I take my remainder and I need to use that to figure out how many 25s I will use. So I'll take 25 into 62. Should be 2. Gives me 12. How many 25s? Two of them. Another easy way to check is, are any of these 5 or higher? No, so far so good. If you do get a 5 or higher, that means something went terribly wrong. Next place value is how many 5s? I have 12 left over. I know it's simple division. We will write it to show the process. And I get 2. Next up is how many 1s fit into my remainder. I know it's simple division, we write it just for the process, and it's 2. How do I know that I'm done? Well, first of all, I filled up all my digits. Secondly, I did as much division as I could until I got a remainder of 0. So there's two things to know when you're finished. Did you fill up all the digits? Did you divide enough times till you filled up all the digits? And did you end up with a remainder of 0? You should have. So what is 437 equal to? 3, 2, 2, 2, base 5. That's my final answer. Last point, if it was base 7, then I would use base 7 place values. 1, 7, 49, 243, or whatever it is. And I would divide by those place values. This is converting base 10 into base 5.